Now, for the last 10 years, the Dutch government has been hunting down citizens suspected of defrauding its generous welfare program. More than 20,000 parents were wrongfully accused and many pushed into poverty when tax officials demanded that they repay child care benefits. Today, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte and his entire cabinet resigned to take responsibility. Bloomberg's Diederik Basel sent us this report from The Hague as Rutte was still making his way by bicycle to hand in his resignation to the Dutch king. What was in the cards for many days now finally happened today. The Dutch government resigned because of the child care subsidy scandal. Domestically, it was a very big issue because thousands of innocent people were wrongly treated uh, as fraudsters with really heartbreaking personal consequences. The piles of debt, but even in some cases, suicide. At the moment, uh, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte is on his way uh, to the Dutch King Willem Alexander to officially resign his role of leader of the government. But we will see him again uh, because he will stay on as leader, uh, as the caretaker government that will continue the fight against Corona. And in only two months, there will be new elections in the Netherlands. And at the moment, Margaret is by a big margin uh, leading the poll. So uh, the chances are that there he will come back as Dutch prime minister. This all together makes this a largely symbolic uh, resignation because nothing much will change in the short term. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.